assalamu alaikum hi everyone warmly welcome to all of you with uh, an important discussion about uh, day 8 as a safety officer especially at saudi aramco site so even though all your safety responsibilities are well clear and uh, you have jds in hand for sure inshallah and the expectations of uh, saudi aramco and expectation of uh, the company you joined in of course uh, it's very clear in your mind so uh, now uh, for eight day of course with your regular activities do one thing very much important that is kind of a legal register so make sure you know uh, if you don't have uh, that uh, legal register or uh, we call it you know uh, legal laws register specific to that particular site or segment or the location you are working in just make sure you know you have uh, the complete list of laws uh, in shape of uh, internal or external documents even but make sure you uh, filter out which are the laws directly applicable to that particular site like you are working in um, oil refinery things are different you are working in at oil rig sites again you know the laws would be little, uh, definitely a little bit different and some would be generic also right then uh, if you are like uh, working uh, on any construction site then of course the things would be little different so area wise location wise city wise make sure you understand the legal requirements uh, and uh, which you need to comply with and legal requirements mean related to the safety uh, or HAC, you know, health safety environment. And for that reason, even you can get involved uh, environmental coordinator along with you. You can ask him, you know, what is the permissible noise limit, you know, into that uh, uh, project or even though the generally it shouldn't be more than 85 decibel. But as per Aramco, what are the requirements, you know, you can talk to that environmental coordinator and even you can ask him you know any regulations related to waste management especially the hazardous waste or solid waste or you know uh, or landfill waste whatever all things you can coordinate with environmental coordinate but first of all list up all the regulations legal laws including civil defense or uh, baladia you know some sort of like uh, as per the location of course and the moment you will start researching on the legal requirements related to HSC health safety environment of course uh, your your uh, thinking level your uh, perspective would be more broader inshallah because ultimately along with the Saudi Aramco regulations you have to fulfill the legal Saudi Arabian you know Saudi government re legal regulations also that should also be uh, your key concern to learn actually and uh, once and also this register even you can keep it updated and you can again use three different colors like if any law you believe is 100 percent compliant give give it kind of a green color and if you believe some of the laws are 80 percent implemented 20 percent still you need to apply some efforts so give it a yellow color and uh, any law you believe is there that is not 100 percent compliant or is totally neglected you know put uh, uh, red color on it and then filter out you know uh, your area focus of area and then get support of uh, your top management and keep them highlighted in the safety meetings or even in toolbox meetings wherever you get a chance just start highlighting oh these are the laws we are ignoring actually or these are the regulations we are not uh, giving proper care right so uh, through this way inshallah things will get much uh, easier for you because ultimately this is the first bible you need to understand you know what are the regulations including saudi aramco of course so you have legal requirements and you have aramco standards as a customer even though aramco itself is a government saudi government but still you know you uh, like in aramco there is fpd you know uh, there is epd like fire protection division, environmental protection division, then there is LPD, loss prevention division. So start understanding the structure, like who can ask you about what, or even specific regulations, legal regulations related to heavy equipment, related to any excavation process, 
related to like uh, oil and gas overall you know wherever you are working so start updating and start learning actually about these uh, legal laws and uh, the moment uh, again you know on the job it would be hard for you to get time for all this research uh, much better is just spend some extra time at home you know uh, 30 minutes or one hour and start understanding the legal requirements of your project and it will help you greatly inshallah especially for uh, uh, dealing with Saudi Aramco even handling some third party auditors or even second party auditors like auditors coming on behalf of Saudi Aramco like Saudi Aramco might be they hire me as a safety auditor for uh, auditing your project so of course my starting point would be like the legal requirements you know do you have a legal register and uh, it is updated or not and then based on that uh, we'll start asking policies procedures and the implementation i hope it will help you okay thank you very much good luck and the regular responsibilities uh, keep doing with uh, great passion and honesty because uh, you are a you are a safety leader mashallah and you're doing a, one of the noblest job in the world and i always mention you know saving one life saving the whole humanity that's what our quran said right so you are the most important gentleman there but make sure uh, you are emotionally intelligent and you know people are listening to you and they really want to listen to you rather than uh, uh, they just uh, want to avoid you and make sure don't try to establish such a culture that once you are on site and everybody is falling safety and once you back into your office everybody is ignoring right so don't try to establish such culture with your uh, warning letters or with your strict measures or fine policies first try politely and guide people motivate them tell them you know why uh, accidents prevention is very much important why injuries prevention is important to ensure their health how they have to keep in their mind that they are the only heroes for their family so use some uh, emotional sentences also to convince them actually because sometimes they feel oh uh, safety officer is coming because uh, uh, he will take pictures and videos and just highlight his performance you know so or he is just working for uh, showing off uh, something to Aramco I mean let them feel that you are there to keep them safe to support them you know in a in a right way inshallah and the moment they will accept you as a safety officer they will start listen you inshallah okay good luck and don't do anything fake no fake records nothing yes it's not easy but don't play with Saudi Aramco you know sometimes we believe oh Saudi Aramco they don't know anything how come they are your customer they are your salary pair and they don't know anything <laughs> they know my dear they know everything okay so just uh, don't uh, try to make them fool make sure your every take your every record is a genuine record good luck and uh, put some better time to understand legal requirements of your project thank you very much take care of yourself